Hello everyone, this is Genuine Polish and we are finally back and I don't mean just back for this video, we are going to be doing regular videos three to five times a week, so stay tuned for that. If you like auction not included, colony sims, uh, really any kind of gaming content, hit that subscribe button and you won't be disappointed, I guarantee it. So let's take a look at the What a Blast update. So first thing that you might notice when you log back in, you might see that you have an exclamation point by the supply closet. Supply drops are back and you can actually expect to see them in game. Clay, being the awesome developers they are, will give you just a couple of items to get you started. Go ahead and click the link and redeem your items on the Clay Forms page. After logging a couple of hours, you'll get supply drops that'll give you blueprints to get more cosmetics for your colony. Just like in Don't Starve Together, there's the more time you play, the more often you'll get drops. Which is awesome, because for anyone who's gotten to like cycle a thousand or so, we log a lot of hours in the game. So it's awesome to be rewarded for actually just sitting down and playing the game. But before starting a new colony and getting those blueprints, you might want to enable the new story trait mode. This asteroid has a few skeletons in its geological closet. Track down the fossilized fragments of an ancient critter to assemble pieces of the Gravitas history and then unlock a new resource. Now in game, after exploring a little bit, you might find any one of the three fossils, the amber fossil, the frost fossil, or the petrified fossil. Finding any one of these will give you the location of the main fossil site, which is the actual main part of the story trait. You'll need a duplicate with the masterwork skill, and then after excavating the main fossil site, it'll give you the ability to excavate all the other fossil sites, which in turn unlocks the building's full potential, which is that you can convert 10 kilograms of diamond into 100 kilograms of fossil. Besides this little steady supply of fossils, all of the bones surrounding the sites will give you fossils, and excavating the fossils itself will give you fossils. So this is just a big cache of fossils, which is great if you're somebody that uses fossils a lot, because up until now, you really couldn't guarantee that you'd really have a lot of fossils. It was just dependent on the map seed, and there wasn't any way to produce a steady amount of fossils. Now you can use diamonds to make tips for your chisels, and then you can use those chisels to unearth more fossils. They still had a placeholder for the main fossil site in this version, but I'm sure if you went and checked it out right now, you could probably find the actual building. Did you have a problem with asteroids? No, me neither. So in Space Out, you really don't encounter that many asteroids at all, if you even encounter any. Even if you change the meteor settings to Doomsday, you really won't see that many asteroids. But for our base game players, if you don't have a lot of bunkers, or you don't like using automated miners to clear your asteroids, there is a new solution. Introducing the Blast Shot Maker and the Meteor Blaster. So the Blast Shot Maker is pretty self-explanatory. You're making ammunition for the Meteor Blaster using iron, cobalt, copper, or aluminum, and petroleum. So it's pretty expensive, but let's take a look and see how practical it actually is. In order to make the Blast Shots, you will need a duplicate with the Pyrotechnic skill. It's a new skill at the end of the Strength Tree, which is fantastic because Strength is something I take for all of my duplicates, so it gives them kind of something to actually specialize in instead of just having increased carrying capacity. So we only logged an hour or two, and we've got a new blueprint already. Let's just take a look and see what it is. Candy strawberries. A juicy strawberry scented bunch of balloons. Uh, for the balloon artist, which I never have a balloon artist for whatever reason. But it's cool to get unlocks and actually be rewarded for your time in game. And then we have the meteorite blaster, which is actually the way you're going to be destroying these incoming asteroids. So you need to supply the meteorite blaster with blast shots, and then it'll destroy incoming missiles. Let's take a look at it. So as you can see here, it has a range of 32 by 32, and it starts at the top of the actual building. In the initial update, it was surrounding the object, so it was only good if it was basically going to hit directly on top of the meteorite blaster. So I'm really glad that they updated that. So let's take a look at how actually effective it is. All right, fingers crossed. All right, so out of five incoming asteroids, it got two out of five. That's not fantastic, but it's not terrible either, and it's kind of fun, honestly, just having this, like, turret shoot the asteroids out of the sky. But again, unless you're playing Spaced Out and they increase the chance of asteroid showers, then you're probably not really going to need this at all on your, uh, colony. So it's, uh, it's kind of unfortunate to see a new building that we're not really going to use at all for most of the people who have Spaced Out DLC. And, and if you don't already have the Spaced Out DLC and you've decided Auction Not Included is the game that you really like, just get it. It adds so much more to it. Who knows, maybe if you guys like and comment on this video enough, uh, maybe Clay will get a little bit of attention and give me some free Steam codes for uh, Spaced Out. That would be dope, but uh, we'll see about that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you're excited as the update as I am. I'm always excited to have a reason to get back into Auction Not Included and log some more hours on it. So make sure to subscribe if you like my content and thank you guys so much for watching. It probably means more to me than most of the people on this platform if I'm being completely honest. And lastly, I am streaming over on Twitch uh, infrequently, but make sure to find me on Twitch and follow if you guys want to see some content and if you guys want to play along with me on some games I will always be open to inviting people to play 